Hey everyone, welcome to the second of our secret stash releases. Today I have a really interesting coffee and that is the Gesha Marcella from Coffee and Water Lab. So Coffee and Water Lab is a San Jose roaster and they roast their coffee on a fully electric roaster called the Bellwether. So this might be the first time you guys get to taste coffee off of one of those roasters. This is a very interesting coffee because it is a carbonic maceration washed coffee. So essentially if you've ever had an anaerobic coffee where coffee cherries are fermented in an oxygenless environment, this is the same type of style of coffee where these coffee cherries are put into tanks, carbon dioxide is flushed into it, and the cherries become uh, fermented in, a, in an oxygenless tank. That imparts flavor onto the green coffee. And generally speaking, coffees that are processed this way, fermented this way, are going to exhibit higher qualities of fruitiness. Uh, they're gonna be maybe more floral. They're going to have different enhanced properties than just normal processing techniques. And that's what makes these more advanced processing techniques like carbonic maceration quite interesting to a lot of people. This still is a wash process coffee at the end of the day. So it, it does have that cleaner finish, but with more enhanced fruity and I would say floral properties from the processing. I would say this is one of the most balanced and floral coffees uh, we've had. As it's being ground, if you've ever had a really nice chamomile tea, that's what this smells like. I would also say there's a really, really big floral component of this as well. And that really will come out as the coffee is getting brewed. Really smelling a lot of that. The recipe that I have dialed in for this has tried to push up this lychee note that I get, but balance it out in kind of this more uh, floral sense where you get this lychee, then it goes into florals, then it goes into a nice sweet roundedness. But overall, it's kind of in this context of a very chamomile tea-like uh, coffee. So that's been uh, really fun. Uh, this grind size on this recipe is 18. It is uh, definitely on the finer side compared to a lot of our other coffees. And generally speaking, a lot of these processed coffees and lighter roast coffees, you can push for the finer grind size and it's really interesting to, to see what happens. But here we go. Wow. Smells exactly like chamomile tea, smells like flowers. Very clean smelling, right? It doesn't smell overly processed. It doesn't smell uh, chemically fake in some sort of way. Um, I know some people really enjoy those coffees, but this is going to be quite different than that. All right, let's give this a taste. Mm. Okay. So this is what's interesting about this coffee is still balance. What I taste here is this lychee that is up here that then just integrates right into really, really sweet florals. And the finish on this is quite clean as well, but there's this nice linger of sweetness on my tongue. Uh, and this is what's kind of interesting with the carbonic maceration process is you're still able to taste that there is definitely some sort of processing imparted on the coffee, but I would say that this processing is not overwhelming. It's not the only thing you are tasting. You can, you can taste that the fruitiness, the floralness, and all the other components of the coffee are elevated uh, by this processing, and it's not the only thing you are tasting. This is a light coffee, but it's not super acidity forward. Instead, we're getting a lot of the sweetness, we're getting a lot of really great florals, um, but you still can taste acidity, and you still can taste a lot of those interesting complexities in in this coffee. Now that it's really cooled down, let's taste it. So this is where that lychee acidity, or I would say maybe like a plum acidity is coming up, but then it finishes into these really big florals. Uh, and overall, it's still very, very sweet, but that acidity has now come out more. So I think this is a really interesting coffee and very different than a lot of the other coffees we've released in the sense that it is super balanced, but also very sweetness and very floral forward. A lot of that is coming just from the coffee, again, carbonic maceration Gesha. So it is going to have that bumped up fruitiness, really nice sweetness, big floral components, uh, but also 
the this is roast this coffee is roasted on a bellwether which i think emphasizes a lot of balanced uh properties in in a lot of coffees and this recipe i've created for this coffee has also tried to emphasize uh balance in the brew yeah this th this is a coffee that is significantly different than the first coffee we released on the secret stash and we'll have more and more coffees coming soon thanks everyone for signing up for the subscription and enjoying the coffees always looking for feedback and always looking to talk coffee so let us know about your thoughts on all of our releases in the Discord. But thank you so much for spending the time to watch this video, and I'll see you on the next release.